Hello everyone. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a spectacular dynamic Excel chart for your Excel dashboards. The chart is representing the salesman wise product sales percentage against the given target for the year 2020. The spin button is used to filter the salesman name, accordingly. The chart is dynamically showing the product wise sales percentage. Let's start together to create this chart. Here I have the salesman wise product sales, and the target given for the year 2020. To create the chart we have to filter the data against the selection of the salesman. So, I will create a new worksheet, and I will call it as calculation. To represent the chart and spin control button, I will create a new worksheet, and named as dashboard. First, in the calculation sheet, I will define the cells to link the spin button control output, and to return the salesman name based on the selection of the spin control. Next, in the dashboard sheet, I will change the entire sheet cell range's color to black. To select the salesman name, I will create a spin button. For this, go to developer tab and click the insert menu and choose the spin button control from the form controls option. If you can't see the developer tab, go to file, and click the options. From the excel options window, select the customized ribbon pane, and check the developer tab option. Place the spin control, and press alt key to snap between the cells. Next, right click on the spin button and select format control. Change the options under control tab. Set current values as 1, you can mention any number between minimum and maximum values. Set the minimum value to 1, and maximum value to 7, since I have 7 salesman data to be filtered. Finally, for the cell link I will choose B1 from the calculation sheet, then hit OK. Now you can see the value in cell B1 is changing between 1 to 7 on each click of the spin button. Next, I will filter the name in the cell D1. For this I will use Excel index function. Hence, equal, index, I will select the salesman name row from the data sheet as the array argument, row number argument will be 1. Since we need the data from a single row, for column argument, select cell B1. Now the salesman name is appearing based on the changes in cell B1. Cell B1 is now controlled by the spin control button. To reference the salesman name in the dashboard, click the adjacent cell from the spin button and reference the salesman cell from the data sheet. Next, I will create a table to calculate the product wise sales percentage from the selected salesman. In the first column I will list the product name, which is product A, to product E in the second. Second column I will filter the defined target sales from the data sheet. For this, I will use the Excel index and match function. Hence, equal, index, for the array argument I will select the cell ranges from the sales target value from the data sheet. And press F4 key to freeze them, next, for the row argument I will use match function to match the product name, hence, match, the lookup argument is my product name. Lookup array will be the product name column from the data sheet with exact match. Then close the bracket, next the column argument will be the cell B1, and press F4 to freeze, and close the bracket. 
copy down the formula for each product. Now let's try to change the salesman name by using spin button. The target values are changing based on the each clicks of the spin button. In the actual sales column, I will fill to the actual sales for each salesman. For this, again I will use the index and match function. Hence, equal, index, the array argument will be my actual sales ranges from the data sheet. For row argument, I will use match function to match the product name. For the column argument, now select the cell B1, and press F4 key to freeze. Now copy down the formula. Next, I will calculate the sales percentage in the sales percentage column, so, divide the actual sales by target sales, and multiply by 100. Here, I will not represent the sale values as percentage. In the endpoint column I will just enter value 2, hence it will help me to indicate the endpoint of the stack column chart. In some cases, the sales might be more than the target, hence the sales percentage will be more than 100, but in the chart, we set the maximum percentage values to 100. For this I will use if function in column fit. Hence, equal, if, the logical argument will be, sales percentage more than 100, the true argument will be 100, else set the same percentage value. In the remainder column, I will calculate the remainder value from 100, this will help me to create the stack column chart, so equal, 100, minus, deduct the value from fit to 100. Next. I will mention only the alphabet character for the chart series name. Finally, I will calculate the actual percentage value for the chart label to indicate the actual sales values. Ok now we are ready to create our chart. Select fit, endpoint and remain the columns, and go to insert, and select the stacked column chart from the recommended chart option. Cut the chart and paste on the dashboard sheet. Remove the chart title, gridline and series name. Then change the horizontal axis name to our product name. Next, select the bottom stack column chart series and click the format data series. In the series option set the gap width to around 40. To change color, in fill option, select the gradient fill, then select the first gradient stop. And set the transparency to 95. Next. Adjust the bottom color to dark and transparency to zero. Next, select the middle series from the chart and set the color to aqua blue. For the top chart series, change the color to gradient dark, and set the transparency to zero. Next, change the chart background and line color to no fill. To make stylish chart I will create some shapes to apply in the chart. First, I will create a shape for the bar chart background. Create a rectangle. Then go to shape format menu. Under Shape Fill option, choose Texture, 
and click on more texture. I will select the horizontal strips texture, then change the foreground color to black, and background color to aqua blue. Place the shape on the chart, then adjust the size to fit the chart size. Right click and click send to back. Next, to cover the stack column chart edges, I have created another shape from the Photoshop. I will copy this shape and paste it on the chart. Adjust the chart and shape to looks good enough. Next, I will create my last shape to make some frame for the chart. For this, I will create a rounded corner rectangle. And I will change the format to match with my chart. Make 5 copies of the shape and place on each column chart. For the final touch I will create a rectangle to represent the actual percentage values from the calculation sheet. Select the rectangular shape and place on the top portion of the chart. Then click on the formula bar and reference the actual percentage cell from the calculation sheet. I will change the format to match with my chart. Copy and paste the percentage label for each column representing, and reference the sales percentage from the calculation sheet. Based on each click of the spin control the chart is updating dynamically. We have done it for today, you can download our tutorial file from the link in the description. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to like the video. Comment your thoughts on this tutorial, and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos on Excel lessons.